Hello Beach Bums, my name is Matthew Isbell, also known as the Bamba Beach Bum. Gulf Shores and Orange Beach Tourism and myself want to offer you five tips on how you can be more successful to catch pompano this spring. Tip number one is your tackle. Most of you, if you're fishing this area, may not have surf fishing gear if you don't live here full time and you're just traveling and visiting the area. If you do bass fish or any type of fishing, most light tackle gear will get you by most days. If you feel like you do need to upgrade your gear, I recommend rods in the 9 to 11 foot range. Pair that with a 5,000 size spinning reel. I typically pair these reels with 20 pound braid. That's going to help you cut through the wind and the waves. That's also going to help you detect those bites a lot easier, which is a common problem most people have when they're surf fishing for the first time. Tip number two is your rig. There are a lot of options when it comes to rigs, but what I recommend is a pompano rig. If you're not going to tie them yourself, I do recommend that you do purchase a pompano rig. Generally, that's a two drop rig with floats on it, different colors. Don't get too bogged down here, but you just want to avoid anything that's going to have a lot of wire or anything that's going to have heavier monofilament. You generally want to use those pompano rigs that are going to have anywhere from 15 to 30 pound monofilament or fluorocarbon leader. I personally prefer anything from 20 pounds to 15 pounds in the fluorocarbon. Tip number three is your bait. You've got a lot of different options on bait. Anything from sand fleas, fish bites, shrimp, ghost shrimp, clams, squid, any of that will work. But the most important thing here is that your bait is fresh. If you can avoid getting frozen or old bait, that's really going to increase your chances at catching these fish. Tip number four is when to fish. I get this question a lot because if you're new to saltwater fishing, it can be a little confusing, especially when you're talking about tides. That's the hang up that a lot of people have is when is the best tide to fish. If you do pick up a tide chart, which you can pick this up at most tackle stores, Walmart, they have these tide charts that have regulations in them as well. But any tide is fine, but if you can pick the tide that you're going to go on, I do prefer an incoming tide especially in the springtime for our pompano fishing, we need a couple of things to happen to increase our chances. Number one, we want those temperatures to go up, water temperatures. We're needing them to increase. We're needing them to warm up after that cold winter and after those temperatures have dropped. Number two, we want that water to be very clear. Pompano are primarily sight feeders. So the cleaner the water, the better. And that incoming tide is gonna do both of those things for you. Tip number five and our final tip is where to fish. Everybody always asks where to fish. Any beach is gonna be completely fine. So any beach that you have access to, whether that's in front of your condo or public beach access, any of those are gonna be fine. But what's gonna help you increase your chances is being a little bit strategic on where you cast. So it doesn't matter what beach, but it does matter what depth you're fishing. And every distance from this beach is a different depth. If you don't have multiple rods, if you're only using one, if you're new to surf fishing, just make sure you don't let that bait sit too long. Move it around, make sure you remember what distance you're casting. If you're not getting bites, if you're not getting hookups, be sure to change that up until you do locate those fish. So that's the most important thing is locating the depth, which is gonna be a different distance from the beach each time you cast. I hope these tips help. Thank you so much for watching. From Gulf Shores and Orange Beach Tourism and myself, happy fishing and stay bummy.